Today's video. So my name is Jen. If you're new here, my channel is all about um girly stuff, shopping, uh, beauty, skincare. So um, I do a lot of shopping vlogs and reviews. Uh, my honest thoughts. So if you're interested in this kind of stuff, please do stick around. So for today, I am quite excited to share with you guys my daily or rather most used um jewelry pieces. So so these are fine jewelry. So I will save like fashion jewelry for another video. So um so the criteria that I have used um to determine my top pieces would be of course the uh, frequency that I wear these pieces and number two of course the frequency is also linked to how uh, versatile these pieces are so basically um how they go with a lot of my outfits so these are definitely not um special occasion pieces these are really more daily uh pieces that you know you can wear so let's get right into it so i have um six plus one so because just because the vca carnelian i just never ever remove from my wrist because one is just too difficult to remove and put back on on my own and two um i just like how it goes with everything even though it's red so red obviously is a uh, primary color so actually it does go well with a lot a lot of stuff i'm just moving um stuff so the light gets in better okay guys so um okay let's start with what i have on right so this five motif vca carnelian bracelet i got this like last year uh, it's about a year already still in very very tip top condition even though i wear it all the time carnelian is a very hardy stone so uh, in terms of the moss hardness is it is um one of the hardiest stones so no no worries about water soap or even uh, you know so when i shower etc i still keep this on and obviously it is 18k yellow gold so I think it's a great accent for me, especially because um, I don't wear like a lot of bracelets. So I think this is one of my favorite, favorite pieces that I just wear like 24 seven. And I think um, a lot, and because I wear it so much, I think sometimes I even forget I have it on. So it is pretty comfortable. Um, okay, next is uh, surprisingly or not surprisingly, it would be my Hermes H anchor ring. This is in 18k rose gold with 27 small diamonds. So as I mentioned in my unboxing earlier, it is um quite good quality diamonds D to F color. So the highest is D. So Hermes does use quite good quality diamonds, even though it's small diamonds, and it is very understated. And I just um I've been wearing it all the time since uh, Chinese New Year. I got it just like right before Chinese New Year, and I think it's just the right amount of bling. Um, not too much and because of the style um, you know it's not very Hermes Hermes in your face obviously if you're a Hermes lover you would know but I just love this ring it's very comfortable to wear even though it looks a bit thicker uh, than some of um, you know my other rings so this one and of course when it comes to um, jewelry pieces I can never go without earrings like I'm uh, really an earring person uh, so I love love wearing earrings I think they do complete an outfit and sometimes I kind of feel naked without earrings if you know what I mean so definitely it would be my VCA mother of pearl with um, white gold this is obviously the vintage Alhambra size but because it is white gold it does look larger than the usual uh, yellow gold uh, combinations so i do wear i do mix metals like white and yellow gold uh, just because i'm not like too much of a matchy matchy person but i think it'd be great for me to get like a piece in yellow gold as well from vca soon so i just need to de decide on which stone so logically speaking i should get a carnelian to match my bracelet but we will see and i just love uh, how understated these are and um they add a pop of something to your face and uh, mother of pro does add a glow to your skin so that's why i um loved i uh, that's why i love love this pair i got this for my birthday 
last year, October. So I've been wearing these a lot uh, for meetings, for work, um, even when I'm going out with friends or you know family. I think it's very, very, uh, it goes with a lot of stuff. And because I, I just love the combination of the white mother of pearl with the white gold, I think it's very sweet. Love white, as you probably know. And of course, for the pendant, I picked the matching one from VCA as well that I also, I think I got early, I forgot when I got this, but last year, maybe in September, like before my birthday. So this is in white gold. It is so beautiful. Obviously this is matchy matchy with my earrings. So I have no problems with VCA pieces as I've shown in my VCA collection earlier. So there are two lengths to this bracelet. This is the shorter one. I prefer the shorter one for some reason. I think, I don't know, I think it looks nicer on me um, and obviously it is vintage Alhambra it is understated and when you wear it together it just looks really really good especially especially since I love wearing white pastel pastel color um, clothing so I think that I'm missing a mother of pearl ring but just because mother of pearl is very fragile so it should not touch water especially in lo no lotions soaps etc so if you do like to put on hand cream which you know technically we should um, it's kind of a bother especially if you remove the ring and you forget to put it on in public places so that's super risky so do be careful if you like to remove your rings and stuff before you wash your hands and you know put on hand lotion so that's that and of course, I cannot forget Dior, even though I haven't been wearing Dior that much lately. I still love, this is still my favorite piece from my Dior Rose Tiffon collection with the wind rose uh, with two diamonds. So this is the pink opal ring uh, with this open-ended design, uh, open cut design, I think. So there's a diamond here and one here and the stone is pink opal. It's just very, very... Um, feminine very pretty um you know who doesn't like to have lucky stars uh, around them right so this would be my favorite favorite piece from dior that i wear a lot i think i keep this one more for going out rather than like daily 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 like going to work etc because i don't know I, I just like to save it for slightly more i don't know if you call it fun because i think working is quite fun special occasions so I love this. A bit more unique than the usual, you know, just a band like the H Anchor Ring. They both have their different, um, I guess, the different attractiveness factor. So, and last but not least, guys, would be my Cartier JUC Rose Gold. Um, this is the slim one, and I've done a proper detailed review on this piece, so do check it out. I will link uh, all the videos that I mentioned down below. So the way you wear it is like this because it is hollow. So you can just basically put it on like this. Whereas the uh, full size JUC, the just on clue bracelet, you need to kind of um, there's uh, you need to bend it open. So that's super thick, and I didn't quite like that look. So I prefer the slimmer version. So guys, um, I hope you find this interesting. So all in all, my favorite top pieces that I wear a lot, a lot would be, in terms of ranking, would be definitely this one because it's on 24-7. This one is also on 24-7. And then this one is coming to a close second recently. Um, and whenever I, I feel I want to wear a pendant, I would wear this one. And um, earrings, these are just like super classic. Uh, very classy and uh, understated so they go with a lot a lot of pieces casual or you know work or um, even dressier so but obviously i think if it's like a super super special occasion maybe not um i think that i think the two motifs would be better but my current lifestyle i'm not attending like a lot of um i don't know who knows i might i don't know but yeah and of course the Dior ring which I have not worn in a while just because I kind of almost forgot about it but it is super pretty and very feminine very sweet so I still do highly recommend the Dior Rose Devon collection I have not checked out Dior's latest collection the rose the actual rose so uh, my essay already sent me some pictures I might go to Dior uh, later but not right now so 
Uh, currently, I'm just trying to focus on what I already have and recently I've been really into shoes for some reason. So yeah guys, so um, do let me know if you have any questions. And actually the second part of this video would be, uh, I'm planning to do a ask me anything question. So a subscriber and some other people have already DM me. So do let me know what questions you want to ask me and I'll try my best to answer every every question that you have. Unless it's, um I don't know, I would filter the questions, I guess. But um, definitely I will try to answer most of your questions. So do let me know if you have anything to ask. So do leave me a comment and do give this video a thumbs up if you've watched this far. Subscribe to my channel, like, share and subscribe. Really appreciate it and do um and I guess I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.